Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create two different frame freezing effect in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have some insights and tricks about Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it without skipping. Let's take a look at the first type of frame freeze effect. That looks super good. Now let's check out the second type frame freeze effect. That looks super awesome. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as freeze click OK. We will now import our stock videos to our project panel. Now we have these two stock videos, I will drag this one onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have this guy basketball throw video. We are going to create that first frame freezing effect. First take your time indicator to where you want to add the freeze effect. I will use this time to freeze it. To do that, hold out on your keyboard and drag the clip upward like this to create a duplicate. As you see that our duplicated video is linked to our video, we will unlink it. Right click and select unlink. You can relink it by again right clicking and select link. Now select the duplicated video and right click on it then select add frame hold. Now our video is split in two parts, we don't need the first so we will delete it. As you see that second part of the video is completely froze the frame like a screenshot. You have already guessed what I'm going to do, but nonetheless just stick to the video you will learn a lot more. Go to the size and change it to 100%. Take the pen tool in the effect control panel, make line around the ball like I'm doing. Once you join the line, you can insert the mask feather. Mask feather is one of the most crucial properties when it comes to masking. If I hide this layer you can see clearly how it affects your effect. I will leave it at 5. Now change the size back to fit. Let's play it and see the magic. That looks super good. We now freeze the basketball in the air. I will add two more freeze effect to make it look more dynamic. Again take the indicator where you want the freeze effect. Hold out and drag it upward to duplicate it. Right click on it and select freeze frame. Delete the front part. Take the pen tool and make line around the ball. You can add more anchor points on the line to adjust the mask as per your choice. If you want to increase or decrease the mask area you can simply use the mask expansion to do that for you. You can invert the video and make a hole where the ball is, like a window. Blend mode is here but we don't need it now. 
Again do the same thing where the next freeze effect you want. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks absolutely amazing. We now created the first freeze frame effect. We will do this same to our second stock video. Drag this video onto our sequence panel. Here we have this guy doing triple flips. We will freeze three different flips of him to make it super good. Duplicate it and unlink the video. Right click and select add frame hold. Delete the front and take the pen tool. We will mask him out. The more accurate the masking is the more satisfying the output will be. Let's play it. That looks super good. Now we will do the next two freeze effect. Let's play it. The looks amazing. Let's play it both. As you can see we created the first type freeze frame effect with a good masking to it. Now I will show you how to do the second type which is extremely easy. So just sit tight a little longer. We will start with our basketball video. Drag all three of the froze frames to the front like this. Expand it all the way like this. Now take the time indicator to where our ball's frame sits right on the freeze frame. Now that looks just perfect. Press C on your keyboard to bring the razor tool and cut the first frozen clip then delete this part. Do the same to second and third freezed clip. Now go to the second video and do the same. Drag the clips to the start of the video. Drag it all the way to the end. Chose the exact frame and split it then delete it. Now let's play it from the beginning and see the second magic. That looks super awesome. We now learned how to create the two types of freeze frame effect. We finally at the end our video. If you wish to support my work you can always use the Patreon where you can download my every tutorials project file. So be sure to check it. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can.
app. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.